Can I tell you? Satan becomes utterly frustrated over a life that values reports beyond things. Because the basis of lust is things. The basis of the excelling of temptations over men is their passion for things. James said, from whence cometh this thing among you? Does it not come from the lust of your heart? He said, ye desire and you have not. When a man focuses on becoming, you have mastered the art of frustrating Satan. Becoming. Because he knows that having it or not having it will not affect your prayer life. Having it or not having it will not affect your word life. Having it or not having it will not affect your coming to church. If the car is not there, you will trek with honor and rejoice while you are on your way to church. And nobody will know while you are celebrating. The day you give testimonies, men will say by your behavior, there was nothing that showed that there was these ups and downs. And you will tell them it's because I have learned that the most superior dimension to faith is my spiritual evolution. But can I tell you, for everyone who remained alive in scripture, who contended for a good report, eventually, promises came without end. I like the way the book of Job concludes. It says, and Job, God turned the captivity of Job. Give us please, as I wrap up, 42 and verse 10. And Job, God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. He got to a point where he said, do you know what? I trust God. I'm no longer the issue. God just keep take responsibility over what you are doing. Let me focus on my friends because I want them to also have that transition that I'm having. Let me intercede for them. There was a dimension of God Job only knew through the storms and through the pain. And the Bible says, let's finish it so that you will see that God is faithful. He does not scam people. He's not a fraudster. His word can be depended upon. It's just the dynamics of his operation that many people do not know. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. This is what gives believers the staying power. So that the day they call you and say the promotion has come, you say, all right, I will respond to you. I'm in church walking. And they say, where is your excitement? They say, no, I had it since. My growth is more important than that. Do you believe this? Let's finish that scripture. I have to wrap up. I have about three minutes left. The Bible says, also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Twice. Verse 11. How did it come? There came unto him all his brethren and all his sisters. So he had brethren and sisters. Where did they suddenly go to? During the time of his travail. And the Bible says, all they who had been of his acquaintance before, and they did eat bread and bemoan him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. I'm sure you have a better spiritual understanding to that expression. The Bible says, and every man, watch this, gave him a piece of money. So his money was already in the hands of men. The things you are praying for are not in heaven. Believe me, they are already in the hands of men because the earth has he given to the sons of men and the earth is still full there are four elements of dominion according to psalm 24 number one is the earth number two is the fullness the resources there number three is the mindset that governs the cosmos number four are the inhabitants when god wants to give a man true dominion he connects you to have authority across these four areas the earth land the resources that are in the earth as for the earth, out of it comes bread, he says. The increase of the earth is for all. That even the king is fed by that which comes from the field. You don't find money in heaven. You don't find all of that. They all reside within the cosmos. Your promotion is here already. Listen, when the Bible says all things are yours, I want you to believe it. The delay in its arrival is not necessarily you're not understanding God.
That's not the only reason, but the major reason for most believers is that God's interest is not just to give you things. You see, when you are really inclined in the realm of the spirit, you will see that things do not have so much value. Satan was willing to give everything to Jesus if you would just bow down. He showed him the glories of the world. Is that in your Bible? And said, all these things have been given. All these things have been given. Just bow. Have a report that you've worshipped me. Since you are the express image of God. Let me have it that you are that weak and you have acknowledged my superiority and things can go. This is the system of negotiation. When Satan comes to men, do you know how men lose their souls? The Bible says, what shall it profit a man if you would gain the whole world and lose your soul? The question is, there is a relationship between gaining in the cosmos and losing your soul. Gaining in the cosmos is transactional. It will always be at the expense of your soul. You can know a man who has been blessed by God because he prospers even as his soul prospers. This is the one thing you cannot have with Satan. The moment you prosper by Satan, the focus is on your getting things. That's what made men, it makes men rich fools. You now understand the problem of the rich fool? He had things, but no track record. He said, my soul find rest on things. And God said, this is a foolish man. So when God wants to walk with you... not to give you a car and a house don't think that i hate cars and houses so i hate poverty more than you so don't think that i'm talking with some kind of no but i want to show you a more excellent way because when you understand faith there is a grace that gravitates things to you i want you to believe this there was an anointing when noah had a, a, a track record with god there was an anointing that came upon the ark all the animals without being called they began to come by themselves this is the reason why the lives of many people look mysterious from nowhere someone will stand up and hold your hand in ministry and say I will help you and I will support you and you are wondering where is this coming from it is because once there is that track record in the spirit then you will understand the dynamics so all that we have learned as far as obtaining promises are concerned they are valid and powerful and true consistent with the operation of the kingdom but i'm showing you another layer to it not a replacement but an addition a more superior addition that in the economy of god before we now deal with the matters of confession and the rest i will teach you all those dimensions in addition to all that you have learned but that at the back of all your manifesting what you call faith, there is a settled understanding that it is not the result that controls my knowledge of God's faithfulness. No.